Hey, what's up guys? This is David from Top by E-Bikes, and today I'm doing a little bit of like a vlogging style video of the new KBO Hurricane Stealth E-Bike. Um, it's right now an $899 single speed e-bike. Uh, it's pretty fun to ride and this, these are my, um, my initial first reactions because I've, I've been on this bike for a little bit today and um, riding with Omar. Omar's riding shotgun, he's my camera guy. Say what's up Omar? <laughs> I don't think they can see your hand there but we'll, we'll spice it in his voice later. So before I get into it, I just want to remind everyone, if you are not subscribed to Top 5 E-Bikes, now's a great time to hit that subscribe button. You know, get ready to start watching a lot more cool e-bike content because we're getting to a good groove and we're getting a lot of e-bikes sent to us. Thanks to all the, the bike brands that are now sending us more e-bikes every month. Um, it's really helping our channel grow. So uh, we appreciate all the help from everyone who's, uh, who's commenting, liking, and uh, subscribing to our channel. The KBO Hurricane 2 is currently priced at $899. It's on sale. But as of the timing of this review, there's an additional $100 off promotion when you buy two e-bikes. The frame is a 6061 aluminum frame, which is pretty standard. The battery is 36 volts and 10.5 amp hours. It's a lithium ion battery with Samsung LG cells. The previous Hurricane was a 9.6 amp hour battery. So this one's about 10% bigger and delivers a little bit more range. The range on this uh, Hurricane 2 is 18 to 53 miles depending on whether you're pedaling in pedal assist 1 or pedal assist 3. It's a rear hub motor that packs 350 watts of nominal power and 500 watts of peak power. The previous version of this motor on the old Hurricane was 250 watts with 350 peak watts. So this motor is a little bit more powerful and a little better for hills. This bike has a cadence sensor and does not have a throttle. The brakes are 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes. They're not name brand, but they're perfectly adequate for this bike given the light weight. The Hurricane 2 has a single speed drivetrain and not a belt drive like the previous version. I'm not sure what the chain ring is, but the ratio is pretty approachable for most riders and performs well on flats and moderate inclines. The crank itself is 170 millimeters of forged alloy. This bike is recommended for riders between 5'6 and 6'6. It has straight handlebars and the handlebar height is 38 inches. The handlebar length is 24 inches. So it's a little bit on the short side. The standover height is 31 inches and the wheelbase is 43 inches. Total length of the bike is 70 inches. The weight of the bike is only 36. That's a big selling point in my book and the total payload capacity, including rider weight, is 275 pounds. It has an LCD backlit display, it has three pedal assist levels, and it comes with a belt. The tires on the Hurricane 2 are 700 centimeter by 32 centimeter road tires. This is about 27 and a half inches, no different than the previous version of the Hurricane. It has alloy pedals with reflectors and stainless steel spokes. Finally, the Hurricane 2 comes with a 36 volt LED front light and a two amp charger. So you might uh, have seen our original review of the Hurricane over a year ago, like a year and a half ago. Uh, we've done some follow-up bike comparisons with other belt drive e-bikes like the Ride One Up Roadster and the Ertopia, which is a carbon, carbon fiber e-bike. Um, the original Hurricane was, uh, was a belt drive, had a Gates belt drive. This one is a little different. They got rid of the belt, belt drive, and now it's a chain. Still a single speed bike, still very simple and easy to ride, easy to maintain, but for some reason, no belt anymore. The other improvement they made is they beefed up the motor a little bit and they beefed up the battery. So this motor is a 350 watt sustain motor and it, it gets up to 500 peak watts of power. Uh, the previous version was just 250 sustained and 350 peak. So you feel a little bit of the, a little bit more of the pep with this version of the motor. Um, but I'm gonna say 
you know, you're not gonna really climb hills with this bike. <laughs> this, that was true of the first one. It's also true of the second bike. So we, we tend to uh, get a lot of these single speedy bikes and this one is 36 pounds, uh, very similar to the Roadster. Also pretty similar to the Velatric. That's around, that was also around 36 pounds. But this one is more budget oriented. It's, uh, it's right, right now you can get it for $8.99, which is like a screaming good deal for an entry level e-bike. And if you're the type of person that likes riding, you know, more quick, nimble, uncomplicated, single speed e-bikes, you know, this doesn't have gears, right? It's got simple mechanical disc brakes. It's no frills for sure. Uh, it doesn't have a really fancy display, but you know, it's got everything you need. So right now I'm, I'm riding in pedal assist one, uh, not really breaking a sweat and, and I've got like a slight incline. So I'm at 11 miles per hour. Uh, the pedaling right now, it's, it's, it's pretty low effort, even though we are going up an incline. But if I want to go up to level two, so here we go, we're in, in pedal assist level two right now. And we're at 13, 14, like we're at 15. I'm, I'm not even exerting myself even the slightest bit right now. And I could go a lot faster. Go a little faster, Omar, pull up ahead. So yeah, here we go. Now we're at 17, 18. I mean, we're at 20, now we're at 20 and I'm now I'm pedaling pretty hard and now I'm actually, you know, getting my heart rate up a little bit. So this is at level, at level two. Let me pump, crank it up to level three. I mean, I'm already at 20, so it's not, it's not really helping me too much more. Like I said, we're, we're at a slight incline. So this bike is, is very adequate. Like it's, it's good for what we're doing right now. It's perfect for what we're doing right now. Paved trails, city riding, commuting. And the other great thing about the KBO Hurricane 2 is they upgraded the battery. And the original battery, you know, because it was like a low power, small motor, like Omar got like 32 miles on his battery drain test and he didn't even drain the battery. This, they're saying, can get up to 53. So we're not gonna do that today. We don't, we don't have uh, four hours to, <laughs> to bike today, but um, that might be a future video where we try to drain the battery. But yeah, they sa it says they can get up to 53. The previous battery size was 9.6 amp hours. This one's 10.5. So like a 10% bump. So you got bigger battery, longer range, bigger motor, and it's got the chain. Um, great thing about the chain is, you know, you can, you can stand on the bike a little bit more than you could on the, uh, the previous version with the belt. Sometimes those slip, you don't really need to stand to, to pedal. This one you can pedal like a normal bike, just like a, like a BMX bike or like any other single speed. So, so just for like recreational riding and for like a more quick nimble ride, this is great. This is a really good entry level e-bike. And, um, you know, we've written like 50 e-bikes now and I've ridden a lot of these single speed uh, e-bikes and this is great for $900. Like it, it's, it gives you everything you would want and it's a perfect entry into the world of e-bikes if you've never had an e-bike before. Like you're gonna, if you've only ridden regular bikes before, you're gonna be blown away when you ride <laughs> the Hurricane 2. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to see what other people say about this, uh, who buy this, you know, comment on this video if you've got additional thoughts. All right, so we talked about how, uh, how easy it is to pedal on this bike on flat ground. Well, now we're gonna go up a huge hill that you should never take this bike on because uh, you're gonna see in a minute. <laughs> so we're at 15, we're climbing. This is like a sustained hill climb. A lot of cyclists take this hill. And you know, it's actually, we're not doing too bad. I'm going 14 and we still have a lot of hill to climb and I don't actually feel like I'm uh, exerting a ton of energy. All right, now we're starting to kind of hear it in my breath. 
you can hear it in my breath. I'm starting to get a little tired. <laughs> Heart's starting to pump a little bit, but this is doable actually. This is actually pretty good. I don't, I don't think most people are gonna try to tackle hills like this on this bike, but you can do it for short bursts. Absolutely. Now, if I was gonna take this hill climbing and try to climb like a thousand feet of elevation, you're never gonna do that on this bike. And you'll drain the battery really quick, really quickly. So, but here we go. Final summiting the hill here. Drop down to 11. And this is actually not bad. I, I wasn't expecting to have this motor push me up the hill like, like it is right now. So, not bad, not bad at all. I think um, if we were doing this in the original Hurricane with the 250 watt motor, I, I don't think we'd have, be having an easy time. All right, now that I've provided a little bit of commentary on this bike, um, I just wanted to give you some final thoughts just to wrap everything up here. I really enjoy these lighter, single speed, e-bikes i find them to be less complicated and easy to ride you don't have to shift and you don't have to worry about components wearing out and it's it's pretty no frills right like single speeds are just easier to maintain and that's why i enjoy riding a lot of these bikes um, i also just think you know they're they're more fun to ride and it's a little closer to the the natural riding experience of cycling so this is a great bike if you're looking for something that's affordable and easy and approachable. Um, there's really no learning curve with a bike like this. There's really only three levels of pedal assist. There's not much on the LCD display to mess with. There's no app. It's really what you see is what you get. Just like a really um, elegant, simple bike, right? This is a great first e-bike, especially if you've never ridden an e-bike before. If you don't want to invest a ton of money in an e-bike, $900 is not a huge investment, which is what this bike costs right now. Here's what's great about an affordable e-bike, especially if it's your first e-bike. Whatever you save on the cost of the bike, you can invest in components and accessories. And there's actually packages that are available with the, from the KBO site where you can get a collapsible front basket, you can get a rear rack. Um, but when you're only paying 900 for a bike, you can invest in better brakes, right? The brakes on, the, on this bike are no-name brakes. They're nothing special. But if you want to get hydraulic disc brakes, you know, that's only going to cost you a few hundred dollars, right? Maybe you get that down the line. If you want um, brighter front lights, if you want to add a rear light, you can do that. If you want to upgrade the seat, if you want to, you know, have an adjustable bike stem, you know, you can, you can make those upgrades yourself and then you can make, really make this bike your own. So um, that's one of the great reasons to get an affordable e-bike. And, and then once you get comfortable riding, you know, maybe you want to get something slightly better, right? Um, for about $300 more, you kind of open up the, the spectrum of e-bikes and now you can get something with maybe, you know, a better battery, a bigger battery, better components, something with, um, you know, eight speed versus a single speed. That opens up a world of options once you're paying 200, 300, 400 dollars more. But again, for 900 dollars, um, you know, you're not really going to do better than this e-bike, and you're not going to get really an e-bike that is going to look as cool as this, right? I like that it's just straightforward, simple design, black on black, very stealthy, very minimalist integrated battery you know i love integrated batteries on e-bikes and again single speed with a 350 watt motor that's a pretty good deal for 899 so for that reason i think you know as a entry level budget oriented single speed e-bike the kbo hurricane 2 is 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 not a bad choice so um stay tuned for more e-bike reviews please subscribe to our channel if you want go back in time check out our review of the rider one up roadster the Propella, the Ertopia. We've done some bike comparisons. We did a uh, belt drive e-bike comparison. So yeah, lots of stuff uh, in the library if you are interested. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.